Hi, it's Chef Rick, and today I'm making chocolate mousse. First thing we're going to do is get a pan, small pan on a medium heat. And in there, I'm going to put 70 grams of unsalted butter and 250 grams of dark chocolate. Dark chocolate as in like cooking chocolate you get. So at least a 70% cocoa. Do this nice and slow. That's why you have it on a medium heat. Take your time. Let this all melt and combine together. You don't want it bubbling or boiling or anything. You can see that the lumps of chocolate go super smooth. Beautiful, there you go. Now in a large bowl, let that chocolate go in there. You want this chocolate to, to cool, but you don't want it to, to set. It's obviously never gonna set quite as firm as, uh, as chocolate because it's had that butter added to it, but uh, yeah, you don't want it to, you don't want it to set. You want it to just cool down in there. Uh, now you want six egg yolks and eight egg whites. I've done loads of different chocolate mousse recipes and uh, this has been the best one. So you separate your eggs as you would normally for the first six, obviously you get your six yolks. One, two, three, four, five, six, there you go. Uh, and then you're just going to do the same again, but this time you're going to uh, discard two of the yolks. I was trying to wrap my brain for like, what could you actually do with egg yolks? Um, there's probably a few things I could have done if I'd have, <laughs> but sadly these were just, uh, these, these just went in a dog bowl. There you go, so you've got eight egg whites, six egg yolks. And now we're going to add the yolks slowly. We'll do two at a time or three at a time. I can't remember how many do that. There we go. Three at a time. And start to fold these into the chocolate. Another reason you need that chocolate to be cool at this point is because you do not want these egg yolks to cook. And you'll see as I'm mixing them, they, they it almost looks like it's splitting. But just keep be persistent. Just keep on it. Keep mixing, keep mixing, keep mixing. And you'll see that it does all stay together. It just takes a little bit of effort. Just gotta keep on mixing, keep on mixing. Don't be afraid of it not going to split you just keep on mixing look at that that nice lovely color all beautiful and smooth and all combined now we're going to whisk the egg whites so in go the egg whites there and some sugar large but sorry not sugar pinch of salt and just give them a really really good whisk until it forms stiff peaks as they say where you can turn the uh, turn the, the, the bowl upside down and the, the egg white is not going to fall out of it. If you have guests, you have to hold it over your head. And go like, da-da. It's always like a bit of a thing that, that you do. But there's no guests here, so I'm just going to tip it upside down just to prove that it holds. And there you go. And now we're going to take those egg whites. And again, in sections, things might use three of them. Start to fold it in. So use either a wooden spoon or a spatula like this. And you want to try and keep a bit of air in here. So you won't just put it in and just like mash it all up. You want to you want to fold those egg whites into the chocolate. Just keep doing it until it's all lovely and combined. The more you add, of course, the lighter it's going to get. And you do that with all of the remaining um, egg white. Get it all in there, and that that's that's the mousse basically prior to prior to putting into the bowls and, and setting. Any comments, any questions, anything you ever want to know, please feel free to just write them in the comments below. If you're not subscribed, I do these videos one a week. Um, really massively appreciate any subscribers, like it's amazing. And if you if you throw a like on the video as well, just click the thumb at the bottom. That's always massively encouraging. Only if you like it, of course. But I really appreciate every single person who does it. So thank you in advance if you if you bother or try to do that for me. Thank you. So you can see now, final bits just getting folded in, scraping everything uh, off the sides of the bowl. So you've got a beautiful mousse, you can see it's just, it's light, it's uh, airy. And now we're gonna put it into, uh, into bowls. So I just divided this one into four of these, you know, pretty large glasses. You could do them in, in anything, any, any containers that you like. Ultimately, they're gonna go into the fridge. So there we go, so that's my, uh, my mousses, mousse. A little bit of cling film over the top and then in the fridge for 
for as long as you've got. Overnight, ideally. And now we're just gonna just do a little topping here. So you could put anything on, you could serve them as is, but I've just got here 500 ml of, uh, of single cream. To which I'm gonna add 500 grams of golden caster sugar. I'm sorry, that was 50 grams of golden caster sugar. So 500 ml of single cream, 50 grams of golden caster sugar, uh, and a teaspoon of vanilla essence, vanilla extracts. And whisk it. And this is just a really beautiful, sweet vanilla cream. So I've just whisked this until, it, again, it's firm. It's all coming in off the side, it's all staying together. I'm not gonna be uh, turning this one upside down or anything, but you can see it will hold. Into a piping bag. There's the cream. And this is purely for decoration. Fill in the piping bag with that lovely vanilla cream. And this is the next day, obviously, when you know you, you're about to serve these. There we go, cream's coming out perfectly. Lovely. Did that go straight in my mouth? Yeah, of course it did. And there you go, that's your lovely chilled mousse. <laughs> a big dollop of cream on top, uh, some shaved chocolate, the grated chocolate if you like. And that is, that's it. That's a, a chocolate mousse with a vanilla cream topping. It's light, it's delicious, it's really, really beautiful. It's very, very rich. Um, yeah, just just lovely. A really, really simple dessert. Um, perfect for dinner parties. Not enough for yourself. Just have fun. Thank you so much for watching the video. Very much appreciate every single viewer, and I'll see you on the next one.